Friends, I welcome all of you in this a very brief lecture on stereo specific and stereo selective reactions or stereo specificity versus stereo selectivity. I have taken three series on pericyclic reaction. Three videos I have uploaded and I did say in one of the videos before coming to electrocyclic I will take a brief lecture on stereo selectivity and stereo specificity because the game of pericyclic reactions are entirely dependent on stereo specificity and stereo selectivity as I did say pericyclic reactions are stereo specific and stereo selective friends what are stereo specific reactions such type of reactions in which a particular stereo isomers a particular stereo isomer reacts to give a specific stereo isomer what are stereo specific reaction such type of reactions in which a particular stereo isomer reacts to give a specific stereo isomer that is known as stereo specific reaction and this mode of reaction is known as stereo specificity i take wonderful example This is a very simple compound, 2-butene, okay, 2-butene, when it is reacted with the bromine, obviously this bromine will come to this double bond and what compound formation takes place, just we see. plus sorry I will correct it this compound I will get Suppose 2 butene is reacted with bromine, what compound I get? 2, 3, di, bromo, butene. 2, 3, di, bromo, butene. And what I am looking? There are two chiral carbon in 2, 3, di, bromo, butene. Compound will be optically active. And if I see this is nothing but mirror image to each other or in a show. So I can say this is racemic mixture. This is racemic mixture. So what I define is stereo specific reaction, such type of reaction in which one particular stereo isomer. This is cis 2 butene undoubtedly. If it is reacted with bromine, what you get? Racemic mixture of 2 3 dibromine butane. No other compound from cis 2 butene, you will get the racemic mixture of 2 3 dibromine butane. Now I take the another isomer of this compound. I take instead of this, this is H, this is CH3. Now this is another stereo isomer or geometrical isomer that is trans 2 -butene. When I took the cis 2 butene earlier, 
I reacted with bromine. I got the product residual mixture of 2,3-dibromobutane. If I take transbutene and it is reacted with bromine, bromine will go to the double bond and what compound I will get, that will be Only this compound I will get. This is also 2,3-dibromobutane, right? 2,3-dibromobutane. But earlier, when I took the cis-2-butene, the product was residual mixture. In this compound, I can say this is a meso compound. This is optically inactive due to internal compensation. So one specific isomer I took, trans I get meso 2 3 dibromobutane but if I took cis 2 butene earlier, I got the residual mixture of 2 3 dibromobutane This is a beautiful example of stereo-specific reaction. One particular isomer react with the region to give one specific isomer. No residual mixture if I get trans if I take cis residue mixture, but no meso compound. So this is a stereo specific reaction. One particular isomer react to give a specific stereo isomer might be residue mixture or meso. What are stereo selective reactions? What are stereo Selective reaction. A stereo selective reaction are such reactions in which out of two or more than two stereo isomers expected in the product, only one stereo isomer, isomer will be formed predominantly. Yes. What is a stereo selective reaction? Such type of reaction in which out of two or more stereo isomer, only one will be formed predominantly. Means one compound, one stereo will be much more amount than the another. I am taking a very simple example instead of going in RS just to explain you. This is very simple compound. Two bromo beauty. Two bromo beauty. Suppose this is undergo dehydrobromination. Dehydrobromination means one H and one BR is removed. That is dehydrobromination. One H from this carbon, adjacent carbon, and obviously one bromine. What product you get? You will get obviously two between this is cis butene and another will be trans butene. This is cis butene. This is trans, very simple example for stereo selective. There is probability of formation of two product. When you dehydrobrominate two bromobutane, cis and trans are formed, but cis is in much more amount, 80% will be, uh, 80 will be trans and only 20% will be cis. So I can see. This is a stereo selective reaction in which there is a this is a stereo isomer. We should clear it. One clear carbon is there. This is optical isomer. When dehydrobromination takes place, two compounds are formed, one in 80%, another in 20%. In stereo selective reaction, 
the predominant product might be 80%, like in this case transcubitin, 20% cystubitin, might be 99%. One product is 99, another is 1. One is 95, another is 5. One is 90, another is 10. So it should be very clear in stereo specification what we say particular stereo isomer react to give a specific stereo isomer. Suppose cis 2 butene reacts with bromine, that will form the racemic mixture of 2,3-dipromobutene. Trans 2 butene reacts with bromine, that will give the meso compound 2,3-dipromobutene. But in stereo selective, suppose I take 2 bromobutene, it is dehydrobrominated. 80% trans and 20% cis butene formation will take place when one product, one stereoisomer, I should say correctly, is predominantly formed out of various possible stereomers, that is stereo selective reaction. In other words, Monson has given this sentence very beautifully. Stereo specific work is related with the reactant. But stereo selective word is related with the product. Monson word, if you read, you will find when you use the stereo specific that is related to reactant. That is related to reactant. But when you use the term stereo selectivity. That is always related to products. You can refer the Morrison boy. Stereo specific is related with the reactant, but stereo selective is product. Another point you must remember that is very, very important point when we talk about stereo specific and stereo selective reaction. I would say all pericycle reaction. They are stereo specific and stereo selective. Remember one thing when you read stereo specificity and stereo selectivity. All stereo specific, all stereo specific reactions are stereo selective. Please mind it. जो भी रिएक्शन स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिक होगी वो स्टीरियो सेलेक्टिव होगी ही सपोज आप सिस टू बीटी ले रहे हैं ब्रोमीन से रिएक्शन करवा रहे हैं रेसिविक मिक्सचर नहीं मिलेगा आप दूसरा ऐसे पर ट्रांस टू बीटी लेंगे ब्रोमीन से रिएक्ट करवाएंगे मीसो कंपाउंड ही मिलेगा बट इट इज नॉट ट्रू वाइस वर्षा आई कैन से वाइस वर्षा इज नॉट ट्रू what do you mean by vice versa? I am telling all stereo specific reactions are stereo selective, but all stereo selective reactions are not stereo specific. Mind it, friends, all stereo specific reactions are stereo selective, but all stereo selective reactions are not stereo specific. So, the reaction stereo specific will stereo selective. Hogi. लेकिन जो स्टीरियो सेलेक्टिव है जरूरी नहीं कि वो स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिक भी हो इसका एक एग्जांपल हम दे सकते हैं एंड दैट एग्जांपल वंडरफुली कोटेड बाय जगदम्बा सिंह एंड यादव गोक इफ यू टेक ए सिंपल वेरी सिंपल कंपाउंड प्रोपाइन दिस इज प्रोपाइन आप इसका क्लोरिनेशन करें ब्रोमिनेशन करें what compound you will get? This is two three di chloro propene. Undoubtedly, two three di chloro propene. Another isomer might be possible. This is CH three. This is C, this is H, this is H. This is also 2, 3, but this is trans and this is cis. Beautiful example. 
Die Studios haben keine Reaktion. Die Rüde hier ist die Studios Pacific Home. All Studios Pacific Reactions are Studio Selective, but not necessarily all Studio Selective Reactions should be Studio Specific. Beautiful example, YouTube Bromi, uh, Propine that undergoes chlorination, you get two isomers. One is cis 23 dichloropropene and other is trans 23 dichloropropene. These are isomers. One will be more than another, undoubtedly. This is stereoselective reaction. Stereo selective, right? Undoubtedly, one product will predominantly will form. But this is not not stereo specific. Not stereo specific. Why? Because no stereo isomer of propane is possible. So if you react propyl with chlorine, you get two stereo isomers, two three dichloropropyl. Uh, so rather, it should be sorry, one two dichloropropyl. I, I rectify it. One two dichloropropyl. There are two isomers, but one will form predominantly to other. That is stereo selective, but that cannot be stereo specific because propyl does not have any stereo isomer. So remember, all the stereo specific reactions are stereo selective, but vice versa is not possible. All stereo specific are stereo selective, but all stereo selective reaction may not be stereo specific. Second point, remember, whenever you use stereo specific, that is always related to the stereo isomers of reactant. But when you use the word stereo selective, you always relate the stereo selective work with the stereo isomers of the product. So stereo specific is related to reactant and stereo selective is related to the product. I hope it must be quite clear and it will be very helpful us to learn pericyclic.